So you're writing a new business application, which means you're probably working with some data. Probably lots of data. Data-driven business processes are the name of the game. That data likely exists in multiple places, and there's more and more of it every day, both historical stored data and real-time transactional data. That real-time data introduces another factor into your application, time. Businesses used to be content with accumulating data, running batch jobs against that data, and receiving results once the batch job was processed. That's no longer the case. Business today demands instant results as soon as data arrives, whether it's a sales transaction, fraud detection, IoT sensor input, or a security log entry. The old axiom that time is money is still true, only time is now measured in milliseconds, not minutes. The faster your application can make sense of data, the faster your business can respond. Data at rest is stored data, such as data in a database or an in-memory data grid. Your application may search the data, update the data, or combine data from multiple sources. It may even create the data. But the data itself is essentially static, stored in memory or on disk for future reference. Data in motion, by contrast, is data that you want to act upon immediately. It's taking real-time event data and responding right away, whether it's reacting to shifts in the stock market, providing a customer with suggested purchases based on their current shopping cart, or automatically adjusting a manufacturing process based on real-time sensor data. The challenge with real-time data is that it is constantly streaming. To be useful, that raw data stream needs to be placed into context a context typically provided by data at rest. That's where Hazelcast comes in. The Hazelcast platform sits at the junction of these two types of data. We can ingest the data in motion, enrich it with in-memory data at rest, and provide the enriched transaction results required by today's businesses. We eliminate the latency of sending data back and forth between multiple environments and stores. And by providing a single programmable platform, we simplify application development for engineers. Let's look at the Hazelcast platform. At the core are two main engines. The streaming data engine is optimized for real-time processing of data in motion. The processing engine is built on a Kappa architecture, ensuring that data takes a single path through the engine. Processing is optimized using a DAG model to support near real-time results. Real-time processes run as independent jobs on the Hazelcast platform. Once a job is submitted, it does not require any external application connectivity in order to operate. The fast data store is designed for efficient handling of data at rest. Data in storage can be searched and retrieved, can provide low latency enrichment information to the processing engine, or store the results of streaming computations. The data store provides options for both maximum data availability or reliable data consistency. The streaming engine and the data store both rely on a distributed architecture to provide maximum performance, redundancy, and fault tolerance. We make it easy for you to get your data in and out of the platform with out-of-the-box connectors that support the most popular data formats. Or you can create your own custom connector. You can use SQL to query both streaming and stored data through our command line client, our management center GUI, or through SQL interpreters integrated into various programming languages. Speaking of languages, we have clients for Java, Python, .NET, and several others. Hazelcast also has a full suite of enterprise-grade features, including disaster recovery, data replication across multiple distributed sites, standards-compliant security features, and extensive management and monitoring capabilities. Let's look at a simple example of combining data in motion with data at rest. Let's say you have a retail application. Your customer clicks on Submit Order, which generates real-time data that contains an order number, a customer ID number, and an inventory item number. This is current data, but it lacks context to be useful by itself. Hazelcast can receive this order and enhance the data with contextual information pulled from the data at rest. For example, retrieving the customer's shipping information from the customer database, then using the customer data to find the nearest warehouse, then locating the item within that warehouse to generate a complete order processing instruction that gets forwarded to the warehouse for picking and shipping. But there's more. What if we look at the contents of the customer's shopping cart before they click Submit Order? 
We can access additional customer data on past purchasing patterns and provide suggestions of other items that may be of interest, or offer specials or discounts based on prior buying patterns. These offers appear in real time while the customer is actively engaged with your service. We can update our inventory control in real time so that we don't oversell goods we don't actually have in stock, something that's especially critical during high volume sales periods. We can aggregate ordering information to provide real time insights into customer activity. Real time sales trends may not be important if the customer is buying teddy bears, but if the customer is trading stocks, real time analytics become critical to business success. This is just one example application of how Hazelcast can be used to bring together.